customized for you. So what we're going to do today is go over some framework and some rituals and routines for you to follow that have helped me and led me to be able to make millions of dollars in all different industries. Now, this doesn't mean you should follow mine step by step. If a lot of it resonates with you and works for you, then yes, you should follow some of it, but don't just think you're just going to follow. Find your, your again, your favorite guru and just follow their routine step by step. It might be a, a mess for you. It might make your day more confusing and less fulfilling than if you just did things, what's going to work for you. Take the and pieces work for you. So that's kind of the disclaimer I want to start you with on this morning routine. Don't just think I'm telling you something to follow and you have to do it this way because I say it and I know what the f- talking about. It's not the way it works. So... What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're going to take a deep, granular dive into your morning routine. I call it the morning battle plan because you're getting ready to go to war with the freaking day. The morning routine, the morning ritual, your hour of power, whatever the hell you want to call it, we're going to dive deep into it today. And I'll tell you this, this is This is a formula and a framework that we're going to go through today. My M9 formula for the morning routine that I do with one-on-one private coaching clients that pay a lot of money to help them craft this. And we sit down together and we tweak this out for them perfectly to fit their lifestyle, their schedule, their character, their goals. And we're going to go over this with you today here on the Steve Becker Show, step by step. The Steve Eckert Show is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms, all while you create your personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. So today we're talking about that morning routine. So here's the first thing I want to tell you. Let's start from the beginning. When it comes to a morning routine, I get people ask me all the time, like every week I'll get messages on social media, in person, or when I'm at events, speaking on stage, people after will say, can you, can you share with me your morning routine? And I say, you know what? I could share with you ideas and a framework and tell you some things that work for me, but make no mistake about it. Do not follow. Just hear someone else's morning routine and go and follow it. You don't want to hear my morning routine or someone else or your favorite freaking social media guru of the motherfucking week and go and follow their morning routine because it might not necessarily work for you. Like, I get up what time I get up compared to other people get up other times. There's no right or wrong answer. It's all customized for you. So what we're going to do today is go over some framework and some rituals and routines for you to follow that have helped me and led me to be able to make millions of dollars in all different industries. Now, this doesn't mean you should follow mine step by step. If a lot of it resonates with you and works for you, then yes, you should follow some of it, but don't just think you're just going to follow. Find your, your, again, your favorite guru and just follow their routine step by step. It might be a a mess for you. It might make your day more confusing and less fulfilling than if you just did things, what's going to work for you. Take the bits and pieces work for you. So that's kind of the disclaimer I want to start you with on this morning routine. Don't just think I'm telling you something to follow and you have to do it this way because I say it and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's not the way it works. So the morning routine is just your ritual. And again, I call it the battle plan, the daily battle plan, the morning battle plan. This is your ritual to start the day. This is to control your day before others will. I consider this personal time. And over the next few episodes of the Steve Eckert podcast, we are going to go into different checkpoints throughout the day of where you need to be in control of your fucking day or else someone else is going to control it. And it starts with your morning routine. This is a lot of time, I'd say at least 50, 60% of the time when I have a high-end one-on-one coaching client, we start with their morning routine. That's assuming they have clarity on their their higher level and their purpose and the direction they're looking to go in life. We'll start there. But once kind of that that bigger picture stuff is done, 
We, all right, now let's get to work. Let's break down your morning routine. Here's a framework. Now let's craft yours. And sometimes it takes us a couple of weeks to craft it perfectly. And we're constantly adjusting it and modifying it. So don't think this shit just is, you're going to set it and it's good for life. This shit is constantly getting better and you're modifying it. You're seeing what works, what doesn't work, using the shit that's servicing, servicing, serving you and disregard the shit that is no longer freaking serving you. That's what you need to think about this and a lot of other things in life. Just take the shit that works. Stop following your favorite guru of the fucking week and thinking their word is the Bible, their word is gospel, and thinking it's going to work for you because it probably won't. And probably on top of that, that motherfucker's probably not even doing it or everything that they say that they're doing the way they say they're doing it. It just sounds cool on social media. When that camera goes off, a lot of that shit ends. So let's be clear on that part also. But this is about controlling your day or else others will. So before we get to the morning routine, there needs to be also some guidelines, some rules. There's no checking the email or checking text messages or checking social media within, for me, it's 60 minutes. Maybe for you, for your job, maybe you could go two hours or three hours. Maybe yours it has to be 30 minutes. Or I understand there's different jobs that you need to be on top of that shit the second you get up, depending on what situation we're talking about. But in general, the majority of people, that 80, 20, 80% of people can wait 60 minutes before checking their email or their text messages or social media after they wake up. Now, I had a client one time, very high-end client in the real estate industry that was a recovering drug addict. And he said that not checking his email first thing in the morning and waiting 60 minutes was the hardest habit and addiction he ever had to break, including being a fucking cokehead. That's some crazy shit right there. So no checking email or text, or social media in X amount of time. For me, it's 60 minutes. Let's figure out what that time is for you. And the other thing is no caffeine. For me, it's two hours till after I wake up. I used to drink some like green tea or or herbal tea or some energy drink or something like the second I woke up thinking, all right, this is going to boost and kickstart my day. Before I did my meditation, before I did my journaling and everything we're going to get into, I, I literally, that would be part of my hydration first thing in the morning and realize what a, what a crutch that was, what a lack of discipline that was. And then there's tons of research behind it. You can go look it up. There's plenty of stuff on online on YouTube. You can check about, about the effects of delaying your caffeine. I'm not saying caffeine is bad for you. I, I have some form of caffeine Almost every day, I've done times where I said, all right, I'm not going to have caffeine for a week or 10 days or 30 days. Actually, the last class of the project, I went with zero caffeine. And that's where we're up for like 75 hours straight, pretty much, with minimal sleep. We're always on the run. And I wanted to have a little discipline challenge for myself and prove to myself I could still be on fucking fire, on time and on fire the entire time during the project with zero caffeine. I did that the last class. So set your boundaries, your rules, your rituals, whatever it is on caffeine, on first text messages, and I, I mean, on, on email, text, and social media, I'm putting all that together, and then caffeine is the other side. All right, so here goes the first thing. Your alarm goes off. When your alarm goes off, I'm not even going to mention the whole no snooze thing. If you're still worried about a fucking snooze button, you should just chop your fucking hand off. All right? If you're hitting a fucking snooze button, chop your hand off. You don't even deserve to fucking have it. Like we're way beyond that. If you're at that stage, just stop this show right now. Go back to watching fucking Sesame Street because you're a little man child. All right? Alarm goes off. You wake the fuck up. Cameraman, what are you laughing at? The alarm goes off. You pop up. Like literally, I have a rule. When the alarm goes off, my feet hit the floor. I am upright before I even turn the alarm off. So not only am I not not just rolling over and hitting the snooze button, I'm not even rolling over to turn the alarm off because that's what most people do. They'll roll over, they'll hit the fucking snooze button, they'll hit the fucking thing again, and then when they finally turn their alarm off, they're still laying in fucking bed on their warm little cozy motherfucking covers, like a little baby, and they turn the alarm off and they lay there and they think about their day. And they think about all the shit they have to do that day and they just say, Oh, fuck my life. Like if the first thing you're doing when you wake up in the morning, you say, fuck my life, or even I'll, I'll even ask them about it and they'll, they'll sit on the side of the bed. And this, you, I could say, because this shit used to be me many, many, many motherfucking years ago. But then I would, I would hit the alarm and I'd sit there kind of sideways on the bed and just say, I would, I would be like, oh, fuck. I remember that for like a, a few months. 
And this was probably when I first opened up the gym when I was not sleeping at all. And I was work, sleeping like less than three, four hours a night and training all day and working from 5 a.m. to like 10 p.m., seven days a week. I would sit on the edge of the bed and just look down and just, oh, fuck. Every day. If that's you, you need to cut that shit. This is why this morning routine and morning ritual is so important. This is why I have an entire course on this. I'm going to share with you pretty much the entire framework here today. That's why it's so fucking important. If you're starting your day, hitting a snooze, laying a bath to hit the alarm off, not getting up with your day, not even standing up, having the discipline to get up before you turn off your fucking alarm, and you're sitting there or laying there saying, fuck my life or oh fuck or fuck me, whatever else, that is no way to live, motherfucker. That is no freaking way to live. So you need to take control. You need to take the day by the fucking reins. Pull that bull by the fucking horns from the first thing in the morning. You need to be in control of it. That first hour for me, hour and a half for me when I wake up, that is my fucking magic time. And yes, there are different trains of thought. Like you should wake up and get straight to work because you're more creative. That don't work for me. I don't also don't get up and go straight to my workout. That works for some people. Morning routine I have some clients who their morning routine is after their workout because from the time they wake up to get ready for the gym, the way that their workout works for them or they go to a certain class at a gym or meet with a trainer or whatever it is, is so early in the morning that to get the entire morning routine, they might do a little portion of their morning routine before the workout to kickstart the day. They go to do the workout, they get back, they do their actual real full morning routine, then they get on with their day. And we'll go into those other checkpoints throughout the day on on future episodes but again, this gets crafted for you, for your schedule, for your agenda, for your lifestyle, for your characteristics, for your freaking goals. No one else's, just you. So we're going to break it down. My M9 morning battle plan. It's the nine M's. And this starts off with the M1 is your mantra. You need like a mantra. Like when I my feet hit the floor, I stand up. It's like I'm waking up on time, on fucking fire every motherfucking day. I'm going to go all in, all out, all the motherfucking time. I'm going to bring the fucking fire every second of every second. If I'm always on my A game, I never have to get on my fucking A game. I want to make no excuses. I'm never going to accept any. These are all mantras. These are the things I'm telling myself. The second my feet hit that floor, it's like, I'm going to bring the fucking stomp thunder into this fucking day. I tell myself, I am fucking awesome. Life is fucking awesome. Today is going to be fucking awesome. These are all mantras. I'm going to fucking kill it. I'm going to kill it today. I'm going to kill the day. I'm going to kill the tasks I have. I'm going to kill my goals. I'm going to kill every project I have. I'm going to kill the inner bullshit stories that I try to tell myself in the head. I'm going to kill the enemy throughout the day. I'm going to kill the inner, the fear, the doubt, the procrastination. These are all mantras. These are all things that are bam, bam, bam. Imagine waking up within seconds and this is the shit going through your head instead of, oh, fuck me. Fuck my life. Two whole different outcomes. You're talking about going from a fat homeless dude to a fucking ripped millionaire. That's a difference. This stuff you tell yourself in your head from the, and we're talking the seconds of waking up, mantras, and it sounds all woo woo and, and tree hugging bullshit like that. But it does start with the thoughts you have in your head. Now it needs to be followed up by motherfucking action. You can't just do the whole secret of just manifesting your dreams and all this other shit. Yeah, it starts in your head, but then it ends up in your fucking feet with taking motherfucking action. Talk with your feet. But it does start with the mantra. M1 is the mantra because that's you're taking charge of your thoughts and your mind from the second you fucking wake up. And the next one is the M2 is music. I, I put on my noise canceling headphones. I get some music going and it's whatever gets you flowing for the day. Whatever gets you thinking and moving and operating, getting you into that rhythmic flow state. Now, this isn't the, the music that I use when I'm going to work, doing a workout, not the gangster hip hop or some fucking heavy metal basher break fucking bodies hit the floor kind of shit. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about some music that gets you into that flow, into that rhythm, into that beats. For me, it's usually some kind of like electronic chill kind of music with a beat, with a rhythm. Usually it doesn't have any fucking lyrics. So it's just instrumental because it gets, it's rhythmic. Bop, 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 to get into the beats for the day, to get into the rhythm of the day, to get into the motherfucking freak flow of the day. This goes on to M3, the muscles. The muscles need to be hydrated. They need to be fueled. They need to be awakened. They need to be shocked. Maybe if you do a cold shower or you jump in a cold pool outside, but they need to be hydrated. I drink water. I drink at least two big full glass of water. First thing, literally, and that when I wake up, it's bam, up, I'm out. I'm on the move. I grab all my gun and gear that I need to bring downstairs with me that I have upstairs for the night. 
I put it all where it needs to go. I go right to the fridge. I'm chugging water right off the bat. I forget who said it, but it's like giving your organs a bath. It's like waking your organs up because they've been dehydrated throughout the night. Then I'm getting some fuel, whether it's a, a protein shake or a protein bar, something small that I could just eat, boom, on the run, move to get some fuel in me. And there's some days where I'll delay that also. I've tried out different things, eating right away and waiting a little time before I eat. I've tried them both, whatever works for you. But the muscles need that fuel. They need that energy. They need that hydration. They need that shock, that wake up. Then we're going to M4, which is move. This might just mean bouncing. This might be mean going up and down the stairs a few times. Maybe a couple short sets of, a, of, a, of an exercise to wake you up, some jumping jacks. Maybe you're going to go hit a heavy bag for a minute or two. We're talking minutes here. We're not talking a long, drawn-out thing. Each one of these things we're talking about, some of them are even seconds. That mantra is literally seconds while you're already on the move. I'm, already, I'm walking down to that water in the fridge to go get my water. And those mantras are boom. I'm getting in my head. I'm going to control the narrative in this motherfucking head. I'm going to be the author to this book of this story, of this page, of this motherfucking day. No one else. I'm going to control that shit. I'm pulling the motherfucking strings to this puppet right here. No one else. And then it's bouncing around, getting some energy. It's movement. It's getting flow. It's these exercises. Maybe the the dogs are awake and you're going to sit there and wrestle around, screw around with the dogs. Lately, that's been another ritual of getting the movement going before the workout or before we leave to the gym. We do a little crazy time with the dogs, a little wrestling with the dogs become our our thing. We kind of sit on the floor and, and, and wrestle around with them and they freaking love it. But that might happen first thing in the morning. Get your blood flowing. Get that energy level up. Get hyped up. Get pumped up like I'm getting today and banging into the fucking microphone. Get pumped up. Get the blood flowing for the day. Maybe you're wrestling with the kids, with your spouse, whatever, whoever's awake. Get the blood flowing. Be that source of energy and enthusiasm and fire for the fucking day. Starts your movement. That's M4. Takes us now. We got the body moving. We got it hydrated. We got the muscles moving. We got the music, the rhythm, the beat going. We already got the mental side of the game with the mantra. This goes into the M5 on the meditation. This could be guided. It could be unguided. It could be just you sitting there with your eyes closed. It could be breath work. It could be you sitting there and just visualizing. It could be prayer. Whatever meditation means to you, it just means getting your mental shit together. It means coming back to your center, controlling yourself, coming back to your breath, coming back to your breathing. So that when the day kicks you in the nuts, and it will kick you in the fucking nuts, when the universe bitch slaps you, and it will bitch slap you, you can keep your shit together. And you're not some panicky little fucking windy little tornado bitch. Like meditation. Listen, if you would have told me five, six years ago, maybe more, because now I've been probably meditating over five, six years. If you would have told me 10 years ago I was going to be meditating every morning and every night, I would have told you you're fucking nuts that that was for those little softy, hippie, tree-hugging motherfuckers. But now I do it every single day. The kids even do it. We have the apps, the Headspace app where it's guided. And you can do it sitting in a chair. You want to sit on the floor and put a little pillow under your ass and do a little pinky in the air, all own bullshit, go right ahead. Hit the little gong bells and all that. Whatever works for you, again, You find the shit here that works for you. Like Bruce Lee did in martial arts. You find the weapons that work for you. Weaponize your morning. Your morning should be a fucking weapon. You should be a deadly weapon after the morning. Nothing should be able to throw you off track after you have taken control of your day by taking control of your morning battle plan. And this brings us into M6, the motivation. Motivation. Now, we know motivation is bullshit. Motivation is fleeting. Motivation is just passing. You can't, you can't rely on motivation. But you still can control by motivation. We mean the inputs that you're putting into your body. And I do, this could be some short daily readers. Like there's a daily a stoic reader that we do. There's all these daily readers, maybe quotes of the day. The Bible would be a great daily reader because it's broken up into little bullet points. Whatever that is for you, whatever that motivation. To me, motivation just means the inputs the positive inputs that you're putting into your body, the personal development. And when we're saying this, this means we're talking a couple, like a page, a bite size, a a, a minute, two minutes max of this, or maybe more, maybe it's 10 minutes for you. Again, you, you customize this to personalize it for you. There are certain days of the week where I spend a little more time on my morning routine and, and this motivation part, I'll be in there reading eight or nine pieces of different books. And sometimes maybe you're going to pull up your, your favorite YouTube channel and get some quick YouTube videos of something positive, focused, motivation. It's just to give you direction for the day. It's just you get on that, on that path and on that track for the day. That's what we mean by motivation. 
that personal development, that l- getting your mind right in the right direction, positivity, personal development is motivation. And that goes to M7, mindfulness. Mindfulness is now when we're going into the journaling, when we're talking about our gratitude, our victories, our things we need to improve on for the day. Myself and in the whole freak family, we have a thing we call a daily debrief. And I have my one-on-one coaching clients. They also send me an email, a daily debrief, an AAR of their day from the day before. It's basically a self-reflection, a journaling drill. They send it to me seven days a week. So I have seven days a week interaction, high touch points with my one-on-one coaching clients. And this mindfulness part, they're, they're talking about what are you grateful for? Real deep, meaningful stuff. You can talk about the stuff you're grateful for in the big picture, but what are you really grateful for today specifically? This morning, and maybe from the day before, what victories did you just have? How did you work on yourself? Who do you need to help today or reach out to today, or who haven't you reached out to in a while? This is the stuff we're talking about mindfulness. What do I have to get excited about today? What what challenges am I going to take on today? What fearful things am I going to encounter today? How am I going to show courage today? This is mindfulness. This is real mindfulness. Not just reading some bullshit quote on from bullshit internet thing that someone put on their bullshit page that they don't even practice some fucking selves and you think you have, you're mindful and this and that. Sharing a quote of a silly little picture on the Instagrams is not being mindful. We're talking about taking a pen to freaking paper and going deep. Go freaking deeper on your mindfulness. And this goes to M8. Now, M8 is the most important, meaning the most important thing for your day. What are the top priorities for today? And it means maybe maybe you have to look at your schedule real quick or just writing it down. What are my main tasks for the day? What are my most important? My Whatever the meetings I have today. Today, my most important was this, recording these podcasts today. Preparing for these podcasts was on that list. Recording these podcasts was on that list. What are my most important things that I have to do today that I need to mentally prepare for? Maybe it's a meeting or a sales meeting or an event or you're speaking, or whatever it is. What do I have to mentally prepare for? And I will sit there in the morning during this most important section right after the mindfulness and it kind of ties into the mindfulness and I'll sit there and prepare, not just writing down some bullet points on paper, but I will prepare mentally. I will visualize how is this recording going to go? What am I going to talk about? What, who, how do I need to show up to this recording today? We're recording a couple episodes, always batch process recordings of these. How do I need to show up for each of these different topics, these different episodes? What are the main points that I want to get through? What are the main stories I want to tell? This is what we're talking about, the most important, going deep into that shit, mentally preparing and visualizing it. And this goes into the M9, the ninth M of the M9 morning battle plan. And this is message. This means just getting a quick message out for the day to a couple of different ways. I will send out a message to the fam, our family. We do homeschooling, home lifing. So I send out a message to, we have a chat that I send it out for. I'm usually up before the kids. I'll send out a message on there. I'll send out a message to our team that are working so hard in all the different companies. I'll send out maybe some gratitude text messages to family or friends or whatever it is. It's to connect. I'll do a quick Instagram story just to connect with, yeah, if it helps some followers, that's great, but it's really for myself. I'm connecting with myself. Something, it's either a tip of the day or whatever else, a gratitude message of the day, a quick, a quick Instagram story, just a quick video. It's just bam, 60 seconds, minute or two. It's a message day out to the followers, out to someone who might need to hear that also. It's things I'm telling myself. I'm literally looking at myself in the camera, telling that shit to myself, and it, hopefully it will help someone else also. But if not, it really is there to part of my day, part of my morning battle plan. So I'm in control of my day. And then the, the weird part or the fucked up part about this whole message thing, I've, I've had this morning routine now for many years, and it gets tweaked, it gets refined, it gets changed, it gets improved upon on a regular basis. I realized after a couple of years of doing this, I would send out gratitude text messages to people. I would do these, so that's, that's for like friends. I would send messages out to clients, send messages out to the team. I would do even those, the stories I was talking about for, for followers and even freaking strangers that I don't even know. And I realized, wow, that's pretty fucked up. I don't even send a message out to my wife, to the Russian. Then to all these other places and you just get into the rhythm and the flow and you're like, all right, well, we'll see each other later. So I made it part of this morning routine, sending a message every single morning, a quick text message, 
a quick check-in, talking about what we're doing for that day, what is our what is our gratitude for that day, whatever it is, sending a personal message to the Russian every single morning. It's part of the morning routine. It's part of the message. If you're not doing shit like that, I'm going to tell you, start doing that right fucking now. Like this alone, this morning routine right now, will literally, if you follow this, will make you shit loads of money. But besides that, it will... Make your days more fulfilling. It will make your days smoother. Where shit won't like this morning routine makes me fucking bulletproof. It makes me impenetrable. It makes I call it I really should call this my bulletproof my bullshit bulletproof morning routine. Cause that's what it is. It makes you bull bulletproof to the bullshit that's gonna happen throughout the day. Like after I'm done with this morning routine, I cannot have a bad day. I can only have an awesome day and an awesomer day. And if awesomer is not a word, it is now, motherfucker. Because I'm in control of the day. This is my personal block. This is my most free time. Like there's times where I go to sleep at night. I can't wait wait to wake up to get my morning routine on. Sometimes I wish my morning routine could last like three or four hours because it's such a deep mental state, such a deep state of of, of, a freak flow going on where there's so much just soaking in and knowledge and so much giving back out and so much creativeness, creativity going on. It's like, fuck man, I want to stay here. So imagine starting your day off like this every day with these M9s. You will have an awesome day every day. You will have no bad fucking days. You, there will be no days off. Your work, your personal, and your professional life will be a blur because you will be create a life that you do not need a vacation from. Let that sink in. Create a life you don't need a vacation from. Forget about work-life balance. This is work-life symmetry. Work-life fulfillment. Work-life fun. Work-life happiness. Work-life motherfucking domination. Follow this M9 morning routine. Customize it. Personalize it for yourself. Again, it was the nine M's were mantra, music, muscles, movement, meditation, motivation, mindfulness, most important, and message. Follow this, and I promise you, you will have, if not an awesome day every day, you will have a better day every day, and you will fine-tune this. This sets a tone for the day, the trajectory for day. This is my navigation system for the day. After this, Shit can't go wrong for me for the day. I know I'm going to get my workout in. It's on the calendar. I'm now in control of my day. I'm in control of my time, which means I'm in control of my energy, which means I'm in control of my motherfucking life. Start off your morning battle plan just like this, and you will also have the capability of getting into this freak flow where you control your time, which controls your energy because time is energy and energy is motherfucking life. It's time to take control of your life through your time and through your energy from your morning battle plan. Follow these steps. Put in the comments down below. I want to hear about your morning routine. Which pieces of these work for you? Which one of these are you doing already? Which ones are you going to start incorporating? I want to see some pictures and comments about your personal morning routine. And if you have some family, some friends, some team members that need to get their shit together and need a more dialed in, locked in morning routine, make sure to share this message with them. Share this video, this podcast with them. Forward it over to them. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as long as you're following this morning routine, you're having a...